Hey there, Aaron Martinez here. Just wanted to ask you a simple question. How do you know what to do with a swipe email and also how do you send that to your list? You may be wondering this and I'm gonna explain that to you really quick because I do have an example of a swipe email and let me first go over exactly what that is. A swipe email is something that maybe somebody else writes and they just kind of put a bunch of placeholders in there so that you can send that out to your list. They've already done the work for you in, in uh, coming up with the email copy and you know all the wording and, and everything and they just put placeholders in it so that you can then um, use that and send it to your list and it's pretty simple, makes things a lot easier and it's definitely a good thing to do if you are in a time crunch and you don't have time to to write out your own emails and everything you definitely want to work on that skill set but one of the ways that you can leverage the work of other people is to make use of the swipe emails that they may send you and so um, I got a swipe email about an event that takes place every Monday night it's called empower hour and it's at 9 p.m. Eastern every Monday night you can either dial into this phone number here or you can actually go to this link. I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up. And so, usually somebody is gonna send you some copy. And all you really have to do is copy and paste it, and then change out the links, bold things that need to be bolded. You can highlight, you can underline, you can italicize. You can kinda of make it your own too. You don't have to go exactly with what the swipe is it's the the point of the email is to have an idea to start from and swipe it right and so I'm just gonna show you in get response how to create this so what you're gonna do is create a newsletter and we're going to do new email creator subject well when you get a subject all you have to do is go to the email that you got it from and copy that in here, right? And then all I'm going to do is select the email I want it to come from. Next step. And for me, let's see here. I'll just choose, I'll just start from scratch and what I like to do is just use a blank template and what I like to do is just drag a text block into here and kinda of delete out this stuff I don't want it bolded I usually like to use 12 point, sometimes 14 point, and I like to use the Verdana or Verdana, however you pronounce it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to copy all of this because it says end email. Usually people kind of that send you swipe will give you kind of cues of what to do. So I'm going to send that, do all that, put that in here. But as you notice, there was a lot of bolded text in the other one, but there's not in here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come back up here. So number one and number two are all bolded. So I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna bold this and I'm gonna bold this. Now I'm gonna come back here and there's a link to a phone number here. And so um, I'm going to actually highlight this, click on this little link icon, and I'm going to do this here. I'm not sure if this actually works. If it doesn't work, then you don't need to make it a link. This just allows you to dial from your computer, like if you're using Google Voice or something. It's not really that important. It may also open up the phone number in your phone if you're clicking from your phone. And then here, I wanna make this a link too, but maybe I don't want it to say all this stuff, right? And so um, what I'll do is I'll copy this link here, but then I'll make it look like something else. Um, 
or actually I'll paste it in there actually no I'll just leave it like that you can you can write in you know like click here to join us and then highlight that and put you know this link in there to make it go there um, again here I'll just come down here copy link address I'll insert that in here this part may or may not work I'm not used to doing the whole phone number thing but it is an actual link so there's a chance it'll it'll work and then you know here once again I'll copy that but I'll also make that a link so let's see what else we've got here there's not really much else there's nothing italicized or anything like that um, usually it'll have somebody else's name down here so you just gotta like switch it out and put your own and then um, yeah what I like to do is maybe insert an image down here you don't have to and I would definitely test this out sometimes images will um, make it to where your emails don't get opened as much because of the spam filters and all that so you can you can put an image or not you can test this out over time and see what works I'm gonna not put one in but this is basically how you do it then you just go choose image and you pick an image if you want to upload one from your computer you can if you want to just put one in you can that you've already got in your images folder here I'm going to not put an image for this um, and this is just a sample email like this took place a while back so um, these links are still good though so like the phone number and the link here 9 p.m. every Monday night Eastern Standard Time um, we do these these uh, phone calls that also broadcast live on this website and so I highly encourage you to actually just um, well depending on if you're home or not if you're out and about call the number and listen in if you're at home in front of a computer and you can get on I'd highly encourage you to go to this link here and um, and just uh, join us because there's always a lot of good stuff it's free and you get to hear how six and seven figure earners are making all their money so very very cool stuff um, so we'll click next step here and if you've been through any of my other training this is kinda of standard you pick the list that you want to send to I may not want to send to some of these because they have nothing to do with this particular type of thing you can exclude lists that you don't want I figured since I don't have it selected up here I don't really need to do it again down here but just for the heck of it I will and then next step I'm not actually going to send this email out but I'll show you how to do it and I can either send immediately or I can schedule it and so let's say I wanted to schedule it I pick the day and time I could pick like tomorrow tomorrow at 7.50 a.m. and I would just click done this is my time zone right now you would just pick yours and you could mess with these or not like if you want it to go out at 7.50 a.m. but you want it to be 7.50 a.m. no matter what time zone it is you would um, let's see delivers your message when recipients most likely okay this this kind of just goes off like when your recipients most likely to open up your email time travel will actually deliver it at 7.50 a.m. your recipients time so if they're in Eastern time it'll deliver it 7.50 Eastern time if that time has already passed it'll just go ahead and send it immediately so it'll send it on or after that time and if that time's already passed it'll send it so then I would just click schedule and the email would be uh, set up to go so I'm just gonna click cancel because I'm not gonna actually send this out 
because that particular hangout and topic has already passed you know or that that particular call but again i invite you to join us on monday nights at uh, 6 p.m uh it'd be let's see it'd be 6 p.m pacific time 9 p.m eastern time and uh, let me see if my link works here i do have a link set up for that Yeah, here we go. So, Monday Motivation, inspireforlife.info forward slash Monday Motivation. So, if you're on this, uh, you're on here on my blog already, inspireforlife.info, just do forward slash Monday Motivation. This takes place at 7 uh, or at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday nights. Just come to this link, check it out. It's pretty cool. This is actually a good friend of mine. He did it last week and uh, you know, really, really good stuff. This guy's full of uh, full of energy and uh, there's there's a bunch of people out there that are uh, that are awesome just like he is that that get on here and they just give value like crazy. So highly encourage you to come check it out. It's a cool thing to do on Monday nights, and uh, yeah, that's basically all you need to do. And uh, I hope to see you, uh, see you there. And uh, if you have any feedback, let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching this video and this training because I know when I first started, I had no clue what a swipe email was, and uh, now I definitely do. And now hopefully you do too, and you know exactly what to do with it. So. I will catch you on the next video, so thank you so much for watching.